Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Dad Reacts video. Today, joined by none other than M. Bizzle, Martin. In the house. I don't know where I was going with that. How are we all good? Good, mate. Good, yeah. Um, Bringing my uh, my live from uh, Amsterdam. From the red light district, that's why you're yeah. 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 Um, well, like I said, welcome back to another Dad Reacts video today. Uh, so last year we did a couple of reaction videos to America's Got Talent. Um, not a show I watched, I don't watch Britain's Got Talent either. Um, but you were just do what you were just saying to me, Martin, about a video, or was it on last weekend? Uh, yeah, on the weekend. So, uh, you, you, you were sort of saying about a fix. Yeah, uh, on, on the show. I haven't seen it, so let's watch it yeah. and um, yes. see what see what we think. <laughs> so let us play. So here we go. American Dad surprised by his kids who applied for the show for him. So let's hit that play and see what they say. Oh my god, so cute. You joking? It's my mum. You joking? You got it. Who have we got here? Hello, Callie. Callie. Savannah. Savannah. And are you sisters? And who have you brought with you today? Nanny. Nanny. So is she your mummy's mummy or your daddy's mummy? Daddy's mummy. Daddy's mummy. Okay, brilliant. And can I ask Savannah how old are you? Three. Amazing. And <laughs> Callie, how old are you? Four. Oh. What are we here for? To surprise Dad. What What's going on? Well, Nick doesn't know anything about it. And we're surprising him because we want him to come and sing because he sings a lovely song for the girls. <laughs> Come along, Nick. So I suppose I, 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 you said fix, and I, I guess you're assuming. So I just obviously I've only just seen this, but I'm assuming you you think it's a fix because he's wearing a mic, a radio. I just noticed he's wearing a radio mic already yeah. in the audience. So obviously there's been some something set up for him to have some. Well, kind of he said that they do a a reaction. Um, thing where people come in and they, they they mic them up and they say, we'll record you reacting to things. And that was the story they, they gave. But the guy says he's came down for a day out with his family, his kids, his wife, and his mum. Now... I don't know where your kids did manage to. <laughs> where have they gone whilst you're at Britain's Got Talent? Well, the other thing is as well, there's like five auditions before to lead you, get up. To, you get to this show anyway so mm. yeah and then, and then, it, then you know we don't need to he comes on screen well, let's play it I'll, I'll play it see what he's like it's is that going come on Nick You see, this is why I don't watch the show because of these sort of setups. It just. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so you just thought you were having a lovely day out? I, I, I did. We had a whole day planned. Well, that's changed. Yeah, this is complete shock to me. He said he'd never do it, so we had to do it for him. Why did you say you'd never do it? I, I think over the years, uh, I've lost a lot of confidence in my singing. So, um, yeah, I, I tend to do it at home, in the shower. <laughs> <You know? laughs> well, I'll tell oh you what, gosh. Nick, I'll tell you what, why don't you go off, grab a glass of water, and then come back on? Would that be a good idea? <laughs> 45 minutes later, with his yeah. guitar. Literally thought you'd run away. <laughs> I notice you've got your words down there, which is totally fine. Um, Do whatever it takes well, to get yeah. through it. It's a song that I 
felt quite attached to. Uh, so and I also got the words to song. Now, so hopefully I'll keep. Uh, yeah, but you could you could have just written the words down. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we are all rooting for you, aren't we? Thank you. Bless him. Nobody cares about dad, you see. But his dad's, his kids are now in the audience where they should have been all along. I love that tone. Till then, when I saw your eyes, this I became a different man. When I held your tiny hands in mine, it's the first words I heard you say. Yes, I remember it like yesterday. Love is blowing in the breeze And you're growing up right in front of me Your daddy's little girls Precious little angel Dancing in the living room And drawing on the table Wearing mama's pearls Love his voice, I don't like the song Yeah even though I know these moments, they will last forever. And to me, you'll always be daddy's little girls. Someday you'll be dressed in white. Couldn't imagine this song playing on the radio. Oh, gracious with Siri, skip song. In my mind, I'll let you go. In my heart, you know you'll always stay. But until then, I cherish every kiss at night. And every little fight. I'll be there for you even when I'm gone. You'll just listen to this song. Nothing's changed at all. You still daddy's little girls, precious little angels, dancing in the living room, and drawing on the table, wearing mama's pearls, putting on her makeup. Even though I know these moments they won't last forever. But to me. You'll always be, yeah, to me. You'll always be, you're still daddy's little girl. So, don't need to listen to him. Judges will judge him. Well, uh, yeah, I love, love the tone of his voice. I love, I love the guys that sing like that. I like Callum Scott, that raspy, that raspy yeah. sound. But I, I didn't think the. Oh, let me just remove this actually. Um, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't think the song was great. Song's uh, great, sing to your kids, but I don't think it's a song. Like I don't understand why people get upset while they're crying and the tears. Like. I don't understand all that. It's such, I feel like it's such. I guess it, could, it could have been different if you were there. It might have been a little, a little bit more emotional. Yeah, but I understand why you think it might be a fix. But well, because what well, one yeah he was mic'd. Two, there's so many auditions before that stage that like how is they so what the, the, the mother-in-law goes oh by the way you should listen to my son he's really good but let's skip the first five auditions yeah and go straight to the audience and we'll surprise him yeah and um also we'll have a day out but we won't be on that day out yeah you know yeah so there's a bit of a storm about it um and all over but then, but then again saying that like if it was better yeah, I, I, do you know what I mean? I could go, yeah, I suppose that could be a thing, but I, he's not winning that show no. with that song. Uh, the, the, the fix I thought you was talking about was Loren, El, uh, Loren Elred. Have you heard that? Did you hear that one? The girl who sang Never Enough in The Greatest Showman. 
that's the one episode I have seen, the one clip I have seen of Britain's Got Talent. So you know The Greatest Showman? Yeah. So you know the song Never Enough? Yeah, well, I know they're talking about like having people coming on to it and it's a fit that way. Well, she so she so the woman who sang that wasn't the actress. It was this no. girl, girl called Lauren Al- 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 Allred, and she came on the show this year. She's an American, so she's obviously she's been invited over. Um, she's American. She sang that original song and she sang it on this show and got the golden buzzer. Yeah, so th- that's what I thought you meant. Fix. Well, that is if she sang the song on a film and it's her voice, yeah, she shouldn't be coming on it. Surely it's... it's like, well, I always thought that America's Got Talent was for uh, 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 amateur... A little like the Olympics used to be for sports stars, amateurs. Yeah. Or or somebody that used to be famous maybe years and years ago. Well, I mean, let's go and get Adele on Britain's Got Talent. Well, no, but she's current, isn't she? Well, if, if Adele... That's, if, that's if, what I mean. If in 20 years' time, Adele stopped doing music and then wanted to make a comeback and then went on the show... All right, I'm, I've got nothing against that. But someone who's just released a song that's a massive hit recently. <laughs> yeah, it just doesn't. But this is the problem. Like they're, they're, they're doing what they can to stay relevant. Well, this is what switched me off from it. I used to love all of that X Factor. Britain's Got Talent. I loved it. Like I could, I'd be, I'd be there Saturday night with three packets of Doritos, crisps, cakes. That's what got me fat. In fact, Britain's Got Talent made me get fat. I've yeah. definitely, definitely not been to the Britain's Got Talent <laughs> tour. <laughs> Who was on it? Oh, what was her name? <laughs> Played the keyboard, uh, the piano. That narrowed it down. I can't remember her name now. She was just brilliant. There's a video somewhere of me going, I love you, when it all went quiet, because I was just, I just thought she was brilliant. Yeah. Um, but it's uh, lost the edge now. But yeah, so yeah, so it, but it was all this, the, the sob stories that they try and build up. Everyone's got a sob story. Like, literally everyone has a sob story in the yeah. world. Yeah. I really want to be a singer because my, my doctors, uncles, dentists, cousins, cat, best mates, rat died. And I don't want to win it. Memory of him. Yeah. No one cares. We've all got a sob story. We've heard them all. So, yeah, I think, you know, I think it's a fix, but I think it's it's staged, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but, I mean, you know, fair, but it was a good story. It was a good little twist. You know, it's got us talking about it. So, well, hopefully YouTube won't ban it and you'll be able to see it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And we'll you can let us know in the comments if you think it's yeah. a fix. Fix? No fix. Yeah. You- you decide. You vote. So, right. Uh, On that note. Ciao. Ciao. See you later. Arrivederci. Peace.